A police chase ending in a crash with a taxi that kills one person and sends another four to the hospital. And tonight, the driver that police say started it all is behind bars, charged in the deadly crash. Fox 25's Ted Daniels live in Somerville where it all happened. Ted. Shirley, the victim is 23-year-old Paul Ferris. He moved from Minnesota to Massachusetts to attend Tufts University, and we're told he uh, just graduated last year. Ferris was returning home from a night in Boston in a cab when this crash happened. Police say he was hit by a man who was running from the law. 29-year-old Javier Morales of Somerville on his way to the hospital after police say he caused this horrific crash. It happened here at the corner of Kidder and Highland around 1.30 Sunday morning. I woke up, I heard, you know, some sirens going on, some loud noises, and then I hear, get your hands up, get your hands up. Morales was being chased by a Massachusetts state trooper when he plowed his SUV into a cab. It's believed 23-year-old Paul Ferris of Medford was getting out of the cab when the impact killed him. The crash so loud it woke up half the neighborhood. I really got like sort of physically ill and had to go back inside the house because it just was kind of too much. Ferris, a 2006 graduate of Tufts University, used to be a member of a local rock band called The Mark. According to a posting on its website, Ferris's girlfriend, Kate Hoyt, was in the cab with him. And she, along with the cab driver, were seriously injured in the crash. It takes me off that a kid like that can actually drive down a street like this and at the speed yeah. he was going and hurt and kill somebody. Investigators say the trooper began chasing Morales only a few miles away in Everett for what is only being described as motor vehicle violations. Morales had a passenger in his SUV described by witnesses as his pregnant girlfriend. Morales now faces a motor vehicle homicide charge for a crash that killed one and injured four. No word on the condition of the others who were injured in this crash, but all the injuries were described as significant. Now, as far as the police chase itself, those details are still being investigated. We're live in Somerville tonight. I'm Ted Daniel, Fox 25 News.